Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I have got another bunch of bugs and glitches that is currently in the latest version of the game. I'm not gonna lie, this update seems pretty trash. There are a bunch of bugs that I'm gonna cover today that I've honestly never seen before, and I honestly don't know why uh, they're occurring. But with that being said, let's go straight on into the video. For number one, we just need to go over here because I have noticed a huge area of, uh, yeah, darkness is uh, what we're going to call it. Because that's exactly what it is. Now, if I just go to this spot on land, you can see that I have huge amounts of shadows. I mean, this doesn't happen all the time and it is a really easy fix. So... For this to actually be fixed, you just have to update the area like that. And you can see this huge area actually got relit up. There is no blocks above me. This is just some kind of lighting bug. And to be honest, it can get really, really bad. If I go over here on this bit of land, you can see, I mean, when I go into the darkness, you, you literally can't see me at all. Like, now you can see me, now you can't, now you see me, now you can't. I mean, you get the message, right? Again, you can very easily fix this by simply placing a block down. Or you could actually go ahead and do a relog because that will fix it as well. This seems to be just a visual bug. No idea why or how it is doing it. Still very, very annoying though. For number two, I think it's better off I just show you. Now, I really do hope that I, yeah, I don't get disconnected. I've had really, really bad problems regarding portals and getting disconnected connected today so i mean fingers crossed let's go through but uh yeah watch real carefully what happens when i do go through to the end this is absolutely insane just a little bit of context before i do go through for everyone that does keep in the loop of simply survival you will know that my end is non-existent i completely removed it not long ago meaning i only have the center portal and a bunch of beacons but watch this when i go through to the end i mean yeah it is definitely crazy you can see that my end has just completely reappeared. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is exactly, um, like, how my end was. If I just fly up a little bit, maybe we can tell. I mean, for, so far as I know, that is just a brand new end. But yeah, what I'm going to do is fly around and you'll notice it to start disappearing. I have no idea what is going on. Now, this morning, I actually was able to fly into one of these blocks, as you can see. But once you've loaded the complete area, all of the blocks completely go away. I am completely stumped at how this works, or why it works, or how it's been added into the game like now. I also have this clip from a user over from the Jam Fam Discord. He had this kind of phenomenon happen to him in the overworld. So not only does this happen in the end, but this will happen in the overworld as well. So if you are experiencing this glitch, don't fret. I mean, I haven't seen or noticed any permanent damage, but I'm not gonna lie. When I first loaded in and seen my end was completely here again, I was like, oh damn. I was pretty much going crazy thinking, what is going on? But no, it's all good. It seems that there is no long lasting damage. At least for me, I haven't been able to find any permanent damage yet. So, I mean, that is kind of a benefit. I mean, not that we should have to worry about this stuff, right? Number three, I want to talk about the Wondering Trader. Now, this guy, I mean, we all know this guy is a full-on scammer. I actually found this Wondering Trader a few days ago, and he's got double trades. I mean, he's selling the exact same thing, which is melon seeds. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a Wondering Scammer's feature. You know, just trying to sell you two of the same thing. I'm back in the end for the next one, and this one is a little bit of updated information. Now, it appears they have fixed the regen dupe which was basically uh if you cleared out a chunk with which had blocks in in the end if you cleared it out completely no matter what blocks it was whether it be a beacon shulker box you know ancient debris or even diamond if you broke these and then relogged the uh the blocks would actually just regenerate however now it seems yeah they have uh, completely patched it which means if you do not have yourself an invisible shulker box like I have over here, let me show you. If you do not have this invisible shulker box, which is pretty much the main way of doing the other duplication glitch, it means if you don't have that invisible shulker box and you didn't make it prior to this update, the duplication glitch using the invisible shulker box will not work. 
Why? Because you won't be able to get the invisible shulker box. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have the invisible shulker box, the glitch will most definitely still work. On a more positive note, the kelp farms are still very much still working. You can see that these things still bust out so much kelp. The reason I'm mentioning these is because this is very much a glitch. These farms, yeah, they're a farm because you do have to build them, but it is based on a glitch. The zero tick part of this system is most definitely a glitch. That is why some people do class these as cheating. However, once you have a unlimited supply of kelp, you can use it for a number of things, including bone meal or even getting yourself a little bit of XPs. If we just go ahead and wait for one piece to... Uh, get cooking we can take that out and receive a little piece of xps now the way you're going to maximize that is by adding a number of furnaces in fact that's the only way that you're going to be able to get a decent amount of xps from it but you can't just get xps you can actually get dried kelp as well which means we can obviously eat this and if we have enough of it we can turn this into a dried kelp block where we can literally use it as fuel or we can quite literally sell it for emeralds. Now, this guy has still got a few little uh, discounts to go, but I'm just going to buy them anyway. This guy will actually go all the way down to one. So it will be one block per one emerald. But right now I'm paying three blocks per one emerald. So if you've not got the kelp farm, I would probably build that right now and stock yourself up with kelp. There are a number of different things you can actually do with that. Up next, I'm standing next to this lava pool. What I'm going to do is grab some stone so I can actually show you what I mean. There is uh, a few sound problems with this update. I think it's been the case for quite a while, actually. I'm not really sure why they haven't been fixed. If you throw items into the lava, you should actually be able to hear some kind of tss, a hissing sound, you know, when you burn an item. However, this is not the case. You can literally throw any item in and uh, yeah, it will not make a hissing sound. So if you accidentally throw an item into lava like this and uh, you, you'll just never know because you can't hear it. I mean, you'll probably, you, you'll probably see yourself doing this, but uh, yeah, the sound is definitely messed up. I'm fairly certain there's going to be other things, like other sounds that are messed up. This is just one that uh, I've been able to find. I think I briefly mentioned this one before, but as you can see, I've had this drown on this chest for, I don't know, like quite a long time now. He is completely stuck on this chest for whatever reason, pathfinding and uh, drowns on chest do not go well together. They cannot move off of a chest once they uh, have sort of like stood on top of it. You can see that guy will be fully stuck on that chest just there. Even if I go quite close to him, he will jump back on the chest and, yeah, just kind of be stuck. This has definitely gave me an idea. My idea is this. I'm going to swim about until I find some drowns. Perfect. And then I'm going to immobilize them with these chests. I mean, I really hope this works. Right, let's do this. Oh, God, this one's got... Yes! Oh, my God, it actually worked! No way! Well, that guy did push him off, though. Oh, no. We're in trouble here. Get on the chest. Get on the chest. Run! All right, well, I'm pretty sure we got it to work for a little bit, I think. Not bad. Still pretty dumb, though. For this next one, we've got to do a little bit of testing, so this could go good or bad. Apparently, using shears on bees' nests do not uh, do any damage to the shears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break all of these bees nests. And uh, yeah, that's uh, myth busted. You can actually see the shears took damage. I can do this one more time just to prove the point. Ah! Oh, God. That wasn't very well. Run. I shouldn't have done that. Golden apple time for me. Well, poor little bees. Damn, these bees have gone hostile. <gasps> He's not hostile anymore. Go back, go back. Yay. Ah! Run! Dude, this is not fair. Go back. Yes. Finally, you stupid bees. We were just trying to prove a point. All right, myth busted. Next up, I want to talk about this clip I got earlier, and it is called the backup bug, or at least that's what I have called it. No matter what backup I used, or at least tried to back up to, 
it literally backed me up to the exact same point in time. Whether it was a backup from two days ago or two hours ago, it literally gave me the same backup over and over again. I mean, I literally pay money for this roam service. At least it could do is make it work to a sufficient standard. I have waited the majority of the day loading and waiting for my realm just to work. And then, like, the backup thing, it's just so annoying. Realms at the minute and in this update are really going through some troubles, in my opinion. Again, people pay money for this service, so they should definitely prioritize fixing up realms. For this one, I'm going into a copy of Simply Survival, and we are going to perform a glitch that will allow us below and above the nether roofs. I'm going to quickly show you this. I've covered this before, but I did want to put it in this video to show you that it is very much still working. Now, as I said, I am going to be into creative purely for the fact it's going to make things a lot, lot easier. All you really need to do to get this glitch to work is go away from any portals you've got linked up in your world already. That's why I'm going to go all the way over here. Sweet. I've made it pretty far out away from any other portals that I might have linked up. What I'm going to do right now is dig straight down until I am at the minus coordinates. So you can see now we are in the minus coordinates. I'm going to go down all the way to minus 64 or at least minus 60, something like that. Sweet. I'm at the start of the bedrock. What I'm going to do is clear myself an area and set myself a nether portal up. At this point, I'm going to place a bed in front of the nether portal, a bit like that. Now all I'm going to do is simply turn the game to nighttime because this does require you to be uh, at night. So let's go into the night so I can actually sleep on this bed. What I'm going to want to do is go around this side or at least stand in the portal like this. I'm going to jump in survival before I do the glitch. Of course, now we are in nighttime. I'm going to stand on the bed and also like kind of teleport myself through. Before I get teleported through, I'm going to lay on the bed. And you can see, because we've made the portal so low down, we've actually been able to get below the nether roof. Now, if I were to leave this right now, we'd just continuously fall forever. However, if I do a quick relog, it should bring us to around about minus 500, I think. It might be a little bit higher up. Let me just double check. All right, no, we're on minus 80. But if I actually go back into creative like this, and I go all the way to the nether roof, if I breach the kind of, I don't know, there's like an invisible kind of walkway you can stand on, which is at around level minus 40. So if I go right to the floor, the bedrock floor, like this, and uh, you can see, yeah, this is the floor. If I had some broken bedrock, I would be able to get back through to my nether. Of course, normally we're going the opposite way because we're on the nether roof, right? All right, what I'm going to do is take my wings off, which I've just done, and I'm going to drop. And you can see now I should stop at around minus 40. I have no idea why this does that, some kind of walkway. Now, if you did this in survival, you would actually get stuck here unless you had some removed bedrock and a bunch of firework rockets to get yourself out. This also allows you to get on top of the nether roof as well. However, once you relog, you just go back into the nether. So that's kind of a shame. It also allows you to do the original glitch, which is actually teleporting around your world really fast you can travel so many blocks using this method although having to wait for nighttime every time it is a little bit long so there we go there are my list of bugs and glitches remember if you do have any more bugs and glitches let me know in the comments below anyway that is all i've got time for today i will catch you on the next one